So this is our video review of the Convent de Carmen. So you come up this incredible staircase. You can get a lift. You don't have to climb all the way to the top. <clears throat> and we've got this room for two people. Three people. Oh, goodness me, my daughter won't forgive me. So you find a really comfy bed and it's a great little size bedroom. Um, all the extra bedding and stuff that you're going to need for the sofa bed is there. You have fantastic views. It's beautiful. And blinds to, bl blind shutters to pull to keep this out. I, this is a historically restored building which has been done over the last 30 years and I just love the staircase to nowhere. Just makes me wonder where, where would we be going? So this is the bedroom. As I say, it has absolutely everything in that we want. The only thing I will... But that was just them coming in to sort out a problem that we have, which is a tiny one, which I'll tell you about. But look, we've got the TV, <coughs> all mod cons, heating. Not that you need it today. This is a sofa bed, which we will road test later, but my daughter is very excited to sleep on it. And she set herself up. Bathroom wise, it is perfect. You have everything you need. I'll just pop the low seat down. Guess who was in here last? Wasn't me. Um, but yeah, it's got everything you need. You've got all your towels, loo rolls. The boiler, well, I guess you couldn't put it anywhere else, but at least we're gonna have a lot of hot water. And you don't you just love the details, the beams. We are in the attico, so it's very beautiful. And then we have a bar. This is the first time I stayed in a studio and actually had a bar and we've got music, so it's like El Discoteca. And then the pièce de résistance. This is the full kitchen. Honestly, you could literally live here. You've got a place to eat. Um, there's a specials on at the local cafe, which sounds really lovely. But you can cook. You have absolutely everything. You have oodles of plates. You have wine and cocktail stuff um the water you can drink you can it's very fancy but yeah i mean honestly you have absolutely everything even in here if you wanted to have a little party you have like absolutely beautiful local wear as well which you could actually use yeah it's got the it's got the kettle microwave coffee maker don't know how that works it looks a bit posh and my favourite, the washing machine. Not that we're dirty enough to need to wash anything. But as I say, in such a tiny little space, there is a lot of room. We have a little leak in here at the moment from the air conditioning, because yes, it comes with air conditioning. However, they've rushed up to sort it out straight away. New fridge freezer. You could genuinely stay here for a while. And do you know what I've just noticed? A chandelier. There is not often you'll stay in a booking.com room with a chandelier at these prices. We paid 70 euros for a night here. Excuse me if I'm looking a little hot. We went up the bell tower. I will attach that in a minute. That is free. You get to go. This is a convent. It has a bell tower. <clears throat> and you can go there for extra. I mean, for nothing. Which is really cool because you get this amazing 360 view. So I'll tag that onto this video. But yeah, look how much space you get. The only downside is... Uh, my husband's head, uh, he is six foot eight, so he doesn't fit under here. Yes, come in! Okay, thank you. <laughs> he doesn't come in, but everybody else does. And this is the lady who lets you in. Say, bonjour. Ah, oh, bonjour! <laughs> <laughs> they are fantastic. When you come in, you get a full guided tour. You get shown the convent that you're actually in. You get shown to your parking straight away, and you even get a tour guide of the local area in your specific language. You are staying in a piece of history. This talks about the history. And it says that in October 1355, Edward of England, the famous Dark Prince, the Black Prince, came over and stayed here in order to raise an assault against the king probably. But he was unable to get the resistance uh, the people, the Narbonne people, um, didn't want to fight against their counts. The Black Prince, the famed Black Prince, who my brother would study because he does all history stuff, actually stayed here. Not in this very room. But this is an absolutely beautiful place. And as I say, we've had a bit of a problem. Staff are fantastic. They've rushed straight up. We have secure party, and that's the other thing. I will show you that tomorrow. And when I mean secure, I mean really secure. We were able to leave most of our stuff in there. 
um, and you get a key code. Let me show you. Get key coded locks. So everything is safe and you can let yourself in and out as you wish. So we're in the secure car parking for our hotel. And when I said it was secure, I meant it. Look at this place. I think this used to be all the stables. It's completely secure. And you get an entry code to get in. So you really don't have to worry. Time to pack. And we're right in the town center. So I will attach the video that tells you all about where we are in Narbonne. We are literally two minutes, three minutes away from the San Just Cathedral. You can't get a better space. So that's it from me. I would definitely give this place five stars. Cinq étoiles as perfecto. Bye for now. <laughs> Thea's taking the scenic route down the staircase. We're, we are right at the very top, right up there. It's an amazing staircase in this uh, fantastic restored convent. So this is the bell tower. And as guests, we get to, whoops, coming in Thea. We get to go and have a sneaky peek up. So here you are coming in. Yes, we're allowed. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's, it's raging. So this is a secret entrance, whoops, for all of the guests. This is all being restored as well, all of this. Okay, let's go up so we get an amazing view that nobody else around here will get of the cathedral. <sighs> Still climbing but can feel a breeze. Whoa, this is very cool. No, it isn't. No bell. Wow. <laughs> Fortune favors the brave and there is the incomplete cathedral of San Hugh, which was started in 1272 and never finished. Wow. How's that? We got a room with a view. Please do not break the house. I could definitely do some chin ups on this one. Can you? Go on then. I um, dare you. Chin up challenge. <laughs> Haven't you supposed to go on the opposite side? Come on. You know, you said you could do it now. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> I want to try. Don't bang your head. I want to try. These chin ups. <laughs>